Okay, welcome to another edition of Ollie's Meet the Instructor. I'm Eugene Lasansky, and my guest today is our resident expert on all things British, Andrew O'Brien. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you, Eugene. Thanks for having me here today. I'm really excited to uh, be on Meet the Instructor. It sounds kind of fun. Oh, it is. Well, tell us a little bit about your background. Where do you? Uh, where did you get educated, and how did you become an expert on on uh, the UK? Well, uh, I was born in the UK, and um, I'm, I've always been a history buff. I've always loved things historical, and of course, it made sense then that I would go to university, and my major uh, would be uh, modern history. Uh, and that's at, at Oxford. And I should say modern history starts all the way from Beowulf, uh, sort of pre-1000, uh, uh, right through to 1945. One of the things I noticed about your classes, I, I took one uh, about Queen Victoria, uh, the amount of detail, uh, you know, little details, the small things that uh, I, I remember that you, you described how dinner with Queen Victoria was such that you know, when she was finished with the course, you were done. That your that course was removed, whether you were finished or not. That detail is is really enchanting, don't you think? I do, and and you you you're right, Eugene. It's the thing that attracts me to history. I mean, when you're taking a history level course at Oxford, of course, you have to have a, almost a thirty thousand foot view of history. But um, what really attracted me was a very sort of micro level of history, like just to try to understand people as people. So recently, I've been doing some research into my absolute favorite topic, which is medieval Britain. And um, I wanted to understand more about how religion worked in Britain, and particularly churches. And I was fascinated, you know, to learn, for example, that there were no seats in churches before, fifth, or very few seats, I should say, before 1350, and churches were segregated. And uh, you didn't even, you know, for people who attend church, you, you know, you sort of had this experience going on around you. You know, you didn't have to chant prayers or you didn't have to do anything, you know, uh, in terms of a liturgy. You just sort of, the service happened around you. And I was just so blown away by that because it wasn't what I expected. You know, I mean, I knew a lot about medieval government, but I didn't know about religion until I started to do this research. And what strikes you most um, about Ollie students, the, the teaching Ollie students? How, how is that experience for you? People, people are very curious. Like they really want to know. And I, and I think many of the students that I've encountered at Ollie have bring a very bright, very sort of wide breadth. They know a lot of things and they can connect things. And they're very curious about those little details. You know, they want to know, as you say, about Queen Victoria and the way that she could consume seven courses in 30 minutes. And there might be soup outside her mouth and she's going to pick up those chicken wings, you know, well, not chicken wings, but she's going to pick up, you know, some kind of meat with her fingers and chew yeah. on it. And, you know, pe people like that. I think there's a real need for that sort of very up close and personal. And, uh, I look forward to uh, future feasting on some of your classes uh, about uh, all things British. Thank you so much, Andrew O'Brien, for coming. Thank you so much. Eugene, may I just do a quick plug just while I'm on? Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, so we've got Margaret Thatcher December 7th and, and, and uh, December 9th. Um, some medieval stuff I've been talking about in February uh, and Roman Britain in March. So I really do hope that people can join me for those things. So thank you, Eugene. I certainly will. Thank you so much, Andrew O'Brien. Thank you. <laughs>